Hello everybody. Today I want to do a quick take on this 2008 Jaguar XJ. I'm in the back of a dealership, like I've been visiting actually this place. It's an Acura store. But uh, I'm going to do a quick take. <laughs> I don't want to attract any attention. And the funny thing is, there's a, a car accident right at that street. If you guys can see, it's crawling. So there's a bunch of police in there. Pretty bad. Somebody re-rendered somebody. I think they're 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 okay, but I saw a lot of smashed pieces. So hopefully they'll be way too busy over there and and not bother me over here while I just do a quick thing. So first and foremost, I like these cars. They're big. They're long. They're luxury. They have this this presence, kind of like this car right here. And obviously at some point uh, they shared. They shared their corporate parents together, so it's not surprising that I'm kind of attracted to both of them. There's not a whole lot that can compare to a, like a, a full-size, kind of an old-school Jaguar, simply because you got these circular headlights, you have two different badges. Now, you see, this is probably where Lincoln took its inspiration, although Lincoln did it twice, you know, here. But here you have a different badge there and a different badge right on top. Um, you know, so it's kind of interesting how Lincoln on the other side, I mean, I don't know how else you can represent the star, but you just have a, two stars next to each other. Okay, nice. Uh, what else? Looks like you got one of the fog lights lost its bezel and kind of sunk in there, but okay, you know, it is 2008 after all. Let's see, it's black, love the color. I mean, yeah, this thing, this thing is long, too. Like, you have nice wheels, no corrosion on these things. So maybe that's where the super luxury comes in. Uh, you have a Jaguar there, turning signals. I never understood why they, why they did it like this. Like, who is this turning signal for? I know that a lot of times, uh, you know, in Europe, they have different requirements. So they would put a, a blinker somewhere on the fender, but... Here they decided to do it in the mirror. Not pulling any door handles, but I think it is locked. Try to fill in with some pictures. Tons and tons of wood. Oh my God, how much wood is in there. And I know that these things had some sort of like a Van Den Poix edition where you had like even more wood or like it was a different color. But yeah, always like the little shift knob <laughs> for, uh, for Jaguar. And you have the wood all over the steering wheel, all over the dash. It does kind of look like a town car. Like if you look at this flat stuff that's on the on the dash, yeah, it is kind of a town car-ish. But once again, don't know who pulled whose inspiration. All right? You got a sunroof, although not one of those giant panoramic one. It is after all 2008. Chrome door handles. All right, there you go. Very nice. Oh, it's so hot. It's interesting to see that. On a Jaguar, you have these exposed uh, sensors. Where in a town car, they kind of hid them. Once again, I'm not comparing the two. I know they're not really that related, but still, you know, can't can't help just to kind of think, um, you know, in a relationship to the town car as I know it. I like the rear end treatment too. Like you have this chrome strip although i'm surprised they don't have the growler anywhere back here they just have a jaguar strip all right nice treatment there nice treatment there it's interesting how also how right here they have a chrome strip going around the tail lights and i've seen some treatments of town cars having like some sort of a chromey bezel usually it was like a dealer installed thing where they would do an extra blink here you have the blink that will come with it <laughs> pretty useless spoiler i mean come on <laughs> why do you need that uh purple speaker subwoofer grill very weird um 2008 jaguar okay yep there you go nice leather black on black a lot of room in the back whatever well you guys can't see that okay but here you can kind of sort of see the very interesting wood combination so, yep, there you go. I'm going to check to see on their website. So, all right. I guess while we're back here, since um, I'm trying to keep this nice and short, um, I did notice this uh, Acura RL, so kind of comparing Japanese luxury to English luxury, I guess. 
but this is a service car. Obviously, it's, you know, I don't know what year this is. Um, but yeah, it's way more understated. You know, J Japan is not known from, for its flamboyance. So yeah, once again, not a direct comparison, but still interesting nonetheless. Well, you do have, uh-oh, <laughs> they are some sort of a police association. Okay, I better be careful. <laughs> yeah, way, way less cooler on the inside or even the outside. Yeah, I was never like a big fan of this uh, beak type of deal. All right, folks. Yeah, I think uh, I better be going. I don't want to overstate my welcome. There's some other cars over there. I mean, but I already reviewed some of that stuff, so not too interested in that. See you, everybody.